operative of the Department of State Services, Rashid Olawali, admitted at the Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday that no act of violence or revolution was linked with Sarah Reporters, publisher and former presidential candidate in the 2019 election. Omoyele Shiwore, who was arrested for allegedly planning to topple the regime of the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired in August 2019. The Office of the Attorney General of the Federation is prosecuting Shiwore and Olawale Bakari on two counts of treasonable felony. They were accused of organizing a protest hashtag revolution now, allegedly aimed at toppling the Buhari government. The first prosecution witness, Olawale, who is a principal staff officer of the DSS, had opened his testimony in the trial on March 11, 2020. The witness had in his evidence in chief said the DSS received an intelligence report that convener of hashtag revolution now should plan to carry out a revolution by revolting along with his associates against the democratic government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria throughout your nation. But under cross-examination by Shore's lawyer, Mr. Femi Fallon or SAN, on Friday, the witness who was asked if anyone engaged in violence during the August 5, 2019 hashtag revolutionary protest said, not to my knowledge, no person engaged in violence, also asked if he was aware that she already participated in the protest in some cities on August 5, 2019. The witness said, no, he was in custody at the national headquarters. Falano also asked the witness if there was a revolution on August 5, 2019 anywhere in Nigeria. The witness said, not, no, not to my knowledge. Fielding more questions from Falano, Olawale, who confirmed that he was 42 years old, said he was a teenager when the then-president Shewu Shagari administration was overthrown on December 31, 1983. As if, if if he was aware of the history that the Shagari administration was toppled by Major General Muhammad Dubari, who is now the Nigerian president, the witness answered yes. Responding to another question, the witness said he could not recall if Buhari was charged with treason or treasonable felony as a result of his rules in the coup that ousted Shagari. The witness confirmed that he was aware that some of those who took part in the hashtag revolution now protests were charged with unlawful assembly and not treason. But when asked by Falano, he said he was not aware that the defendants were discharged and acquitted and that a Lagos state, a Lagos court declared the August 5, 2019 protest as lawful. He also said he was not aware that the sum of one million naira was awarded in favor of Shore and other protesters in the case. Meanwhile, the prosecuting counsel Bagudu Sani on Friday moved an application seeking the prohibition of persons not playing any role in the proceedings except the parties, lawyers, and accredited journalists. He also applied that the witness box be shielded from the public except for the counsel and accredited journalists. He also urged the court to the direct that the real names and address of prosecution witnesses should not be disclosed. But Falano opposed the application, which he said would violate Section 36 of the Constitution that provides that the defendants are entitled to public trial. Ruling Justice Ijoma Ojuku noted that the fear expressed that the hashtag revolutionary protesters could attack prosecution witnesses was not backed by any evidence. She, however, ruled that only lawyers, parties involved, and accredited, accredited journalists would be allowed into the courtroom and to see the witnesses. The judge adjourned the case to January 26, February 4th, and 5th, 2021 for continuation of hearing. Okay, can you guys see what we are talking about? <laughs> you see, <laughs> someone says a useless government. They turned Lord upside down. Citizens cannot protest anymore. Confused government, free shiwore. An activist who is also a politician and interested in an elective position cannot help us. An activist or freedom fighter must be somebody that wants a change for the good of the country without nursing any political interest or ambition. So the question now is that those who have not who 
is a uh, who are ruling now. Now, uh, Buhari is not an activist. Good luck, Jonathan. Uh, is not an activist. Activist Buhari, uh, the likes of a uh, Yaradwa. They are not activists. Yaradwa was not an activist. So how have they ruled this country? Those who have ruled this country, uh, were they uh, activists in one time or the other? So where have they led us? These are the things that we always, you know, there's this uh, narratives that people always, you know, put out there. In mindset they already have. And at the end of the day, it's not really the way it is. The ones that are ruling us now at all levels, they are not activists. But how far have they gone? How far have they brought development to the country? How far have they brought success to the country? <laughs> Does, I don't understand. Well, he's entitled to his opinion. How will the person do it without policies? Interestingly, it hardly matters. You need to do more study on Nelson Mandela. I hope you are not trying to compare or liken Mandela to Shore. It's obvious that uh, you don't know anything about good governance. You are just uh, typing what you don't understand. Uh, out of hatred that you have against your way, you are nothing but a non-entity. Like, seriously? Okay. Your assertion is wrong. You don't know about politics and governance. Okay, so, uh, some people are countering this particular person's uh, statement that uh, an activist cannot be a leader. And my question is, are those who are, are now leading us, they are not activists, but how far have they gone? How good they are? Tell me something. What a confused administration. So the DSS can say all of this. Fear of USA, okay? Unlawful gathering, like we can't gather any again in my own country. No freedom to gather again. That is exactly what they are doing. That is exactly what they are doing. These people, stupid shahun, confused people in power. Hope the powers that be will not eliminate you like they did with the female combat, combatant pilots. And tell us you died of COVID 19. The students and graduates who. Okay, okay, this one is saying something else. Okay, oh, full stop. Hope he has not been compromised. Who has not been compromised? This one is talking about uh, <laughs> the DSS. The DSS is, is, is working for the government now. So, what are we talking about? Even without him saying anything, everybody knows what actually transpired, what happened. So, they have been turning everything upside down. You can imagine the same people that told they have evidence. Normally, if you have evidence, they have evidence against this man. You know, this man has said it before. Fabi Fallon on that. All of the, whatever they brought to the court, that they've quashed all of them. That's nothing of such. They don't have any case against him. And since then, it's been like that. They are going to adjourn, 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 adjourn. They told us this guy has a, a relationship with Dubai. But at the end of the day, it's came out to be false. And that's why they are keeping him there. You see that they said, they, they said many, many things about uh, Dasuki. They kept him for close to how many years if not because of a uh, the grace that uh, helped shore he would have still be there that's okay would have still been in in, in whatever wherever they kept him languishing there tell me the man has come and says what have they done about his case and they said this and that or a lot of the money that they said he he he, he used on the security and whatever if you have it you put these people jail there but i don't know why they are pussy footy it's all about tactics. Anybody who is coming to challenge them, they will begin to look for one thing, one case or the other, to so just just to nail them. What will it take them? More than one year now, Shore has been released from the DSS custody. Yet, you have not been able to charge him. Hey. And now see what the DSS is talking now. Making a U-turn. This is a U-turn, in my opinion. So guys, leave your comments below and let's have your take.